do it has been a while since I have um, talked to you guys since I've seen you guys so um, I wanted to just give you an update seems like every time I do make a video something different something you know so I think the last video I made I don't know what was going on I have to take a look back and I'll you know type something up but so what you see right now is what I think will be my hairstyle for the summer anyway um, I am such a fickle person when it comes to my hair I'm gung-ho about something and then a year later I'm like I want to change I want to switch it up I want to do something different so um, I don't know if I if I chronicle my perm but I think I may have but I'm not sure but yes I had around January gotten so sick of my natural hair and it was just it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do so I was like you know what I'm just gonna perm my hair and when I perm my hair I'll be able to do the things I think where I got frustrated was I wanted to wear my hair straighten and I have that type of hair if you breathe on it it just you know reverts back so I was getting frustrated with the reversion and everything like that had the perm I kept it for from like January to April um, with no touch-ups no you know anything and then April came and I realized you know my hair started to break I really wasn't doing what I thought I would be able to do with the perm and I was just like you know what I'm tired of this took the clippers to it um, I had about four months of new growth so I you know cut it down to it was maybe like quarter inch of perm left then I took the clippers, got bold, took the clippers, used the number four guard and just shaved it all, you know, took it down. And um, so it took a little getting used to, you know, people are like, well, what's wrong with you? You going through something? Of course, you make changes and people think that it's something going on. So um, I now wear it short. Um, yeah, so April, I cut my hair off and... So since kind of my hair at the end of probably mid beginning of April, second or third week in April, I you know went back to being all natural. I did dye my hair, and what I realized is that I guess I'm tired of the dyes. At least the red, the bright colors, the reds, the oranges, they fade. They look dusty. So one of the first things I did after I cut my hair was dye my hair because my hair was like all off color dusty brown okay and plus I had been in the sun so that could have you know helped with that but what I did was I dyed my hair with Garnier Nutrice and this is uh, dark brown number four and this is the color foam okay now because I was small head bald head I actually did not use the whole um, amount so it comes like this and it has the, you know, mousse squirt or whatever you want to call it. You know, you have the same thing. You have your dye. You have your developer in here. And then they give you the conditioner. So what I did was I just halved it. I figured I ain't had that much hair on my head. And at, you know, $8, if I could get two uses out of it, that's what I was going to do. So what I really am excited about is my curls are popping okay, they are popping my curls are popping because so there's this huge explosion on the market to fill the niche of products for natural hair for curl definition things like that so i was in target and of course target is at least the ones here in philadelphia i don't know what they're doing in other cities but targets are understanding that there is money in black hair care products and so you know what used to be like a little section is now a whole aisle at least here in philadelphia um, so there's more and more to choose from. I was in Target and now Motions has the Naturally You line of their Motions. 
okay so it's the like the copper colored tops and the writing is a little different than the normal motions line so anyway I happened to upon this and it's the define my curls cream with shea butter coconut avocado oils for naturally curly styles and when I opened it up it looks like this so it was $5.99 at Target in um, Shellingham I purchased this and fell in love with it now I've had it since about the time I've been natural so it's about three weeks and I'm heavy handed with stuff so you know my routine with this is I would you know rinse or wash my hair I would use a leave-in conditioner so I use this okay to re-wet my hair to make it a little more wetter than just rinsing it and also to give it some you know nutrients things like that then I would use will use this cream of nature leave-in conditioner just take a quarter size amount put it in my hair so I kind of base my hair with the cream creamy leave-in and then I would take a glop of this you know just take my finger rub I will emulsify it so as you can see it was like a opaque clear color I'm emulsifying it in my hand and it's usually because I have a lot more but you can see that it's you know I'm heating it up it's getting sticky and I do this and then I just take and go around and around and around in my hair okay and I would do that and I do this in the morning so I'm usually going out the door with my hair wet this is definitely a warm weather way to do it um, even if it was winter time I probably would still do it this way I would just help the drying process along with the diffuser or um, or a dryer okay and this YouTube is what it's looking like you know it's been about 30 minutes after I did my application so This is what it's looking like about 30 minutes after I did the application of everything. So I'll snap a pic at the end of the day when I get home so you can see how it holds up.